here is another nice, great, full thickness histologic section of a heart. The smoother side would be the pericardial side, and the more trabecular side would be the endocardial side. Uh, and let's look at it uh, just for a general inspection. Doesn't look too bad offhand. Looks like you could see that perhaps the uh, pericardium may be a little bit uh, inflamed. Perhaps there's a little bit more inflammatory cells out here. And if you are wondering if some of these inflammatory cells are also involving the myocardium possibly, let me show you an area which will totally convince you. Here are some inflammatory cells in the pericardium, but look, we could see here they are also clearly involving the myocardium as well. This is a myocarditis. And it's like, there's hardly any myocarditis that's specific. Usually you have to know the history. But in the early stage of, of myocarditis, you'll more likely get acute inflammatory cells, necrosis. In the more chronic stages, you'll maybe get lymphocytes. And of course, in the really remote stages, you're likely to just get fibrosis. And then you don't know whether it's a small infarct or an old myocarditis. But look, you have an increase of inflammatory cells. This is the highest I could go, neutrophil, 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 neutrophil. Maybe some macrophages here too. And they are not only involving pericardium, but they are truly uh, showing destructive changes within the myocardium. Well, this could be due to anything. You know, there's a whole wide variety of bacteria, fungi, radiation, chemotherapy, you know. But let me show you a little thing that I cooked up here. Here's a blank little text document, and I'm going to paste in something that I just uh, copied out of Wikipedia. This is the list of viruses that infect the heart, and you can know, uh, suspect uh, many of them can. Here are the common ones. Always at the top of the list, you see the word Coxsackie. Whenever you uh, hear of a viral myocarditis or go to a grand rounds. Coxsackies are always top of the list. They are picorna viruses. I guess pico means small and erna means RNA. And they are divided into A and B for various reasons. The Coxsackie B viruses and especially B2 are well-known common uh, infectors of myocardium. So uh, often, uh, when you hear of a primary uh, myocarditis, uh, they will do serologic tests for this virus. However, remember, there's a whole host of others, and here they are. But this particular case is a Coxsackie B2 viral acute myocarditis. Thank you very much.